نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I speak to you today to remind you of a very important conference on riba which has been organized uh, here in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia on November 26th and 27th. It's a two-day conference. I am myself invited to uh, deliver an address to that conference. It's a challenging topic, Islam, the petrodollar and beyond. Islam, the petrodollar and beyond. And I still have to start work on that paper. I'm at the moment uh, working on a second edition of my book on the Caliphate, the Hejaz and the Saudi Wahhabi nation state. That book was written way back in 1976 when I was a student in Geneva. So after almost 40 years, I'm now working on a second edition uh, of that book. And I've just, just worked on a second edition of my book on Gog and Magog. And now soon I'll start working on that paper on Islam, the petrodollar and beyond for the conference on Riva, which is on November 26th and 27th here in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Uh, you can find information of the conference, about the conference on my website. Uh, it is organized by Shirazuddin Adam Shah and his uh, team of workers. Um, and this time we are having an, we have an exciting event that there are some speakers who are coming, some participants who are coming uh, to address us in that conference I've never met before. Uh, one of them is Hugo Salinas Price uh, of Mexico. Um, Hugo Salinas Price has distinguished himself in the world truly, as uh, someone who has seen the value of returning to real money. And he's been an advocate of a return in particular to the silver coin as money. We in Islam call it the silver dirham. Uh, he said to me that the majority of people of Mexico agree with him that Mexico should return to the silver coin as money to replace the bogus and fraudulent paper currencies and plastic money that's coming. Uh, he said that the majority of people in the Mexican parliament also agree with that position. And the only thing that is really standing in the way is the Mexican central bank. Because the banking system around the world, you know, is all controlled by one head office. And they, the Zionists, control that. So they control the banking system around the world. So you, it's difficult to get out of it. So the Mexican Central Bank can't get out of it. But he is going to be present in the conference and it's going to be a delight really for us in the world of Islam to welcome him. For the first time, for the first time in a conference in the world of Islam, we're going to have Islamic scholars in dialogue and interacting with this eminent uh, person, Hugo Salinas Price of Mexico, on the subject of money and the future of money. Uh, there are many other uh, scholars who are invited to come to the conference and who accepted the invitation. But it is important for us to point out that this is, I think, the third or the fourth conference that has been organized here in uh, Malaysia on uh, Riba. Uh, when we started lecturing on the subject of Riba, myself and a few others, just a handful of us, some 20 years ago, um, there was disdain. <laughs> there was disdain for our views. Uh, our views were considered to be so unorthodox and uh, uh, impractical and so on. 
For I have lived to see the day that coal and silver coins are being minted now in Malaysia. And they're all around, all over, all over the market you can get gold and silver coins today. Twenty years ago it was a dream. Gold and silver coins are not prohibited by the law. You can mint them. Because they know that if they attempt to prohibit us from minting gold and silver coins, they are going to look at the laughing stock of the world. And they don't want to look ridiculous. So no one is going to put up any legal bar to prevent us from minting gold and silver coins. The conference will have to take up another subject. And that is that the law still prevents the use of gold and silver coins as legal tender for buying and selling. And the time has come for us to start doing that. Start using gold and silver coins to buy and to sell. No one is going to arrest you for defying the law. <laughs> there's no going to be there's not going to be any charge of treason or sedition or so. Because anyone who is arrested for buying and selling with gold and silver coins and has to go to the court, it will make that court and that power, that government, look like the laughing stock of the world. They would look ridiculous. Largely because the internet, largely because the internet has provided us with a platform whereby we could teach our people about what is real money and what is bogus money. And more and more people are beginning to understand that the money that we are now using is bogus. And there is a need for us to return to integrity in money. And that is to return to dinar and dirham, gold and silver coins. And so the time has come for us to start using gold and silver coins to buy and to sell. But more than that, the conference will have to chart out a plan of action to seek to negotiate with countries like Russia and with China. It's going to be non-governmental, of course, because our governments are not going to do that. We're going to have to do it, the people, the consumers, to be able to get uh, agreement, and it should not be difficult, from Russia, from China, from Eastern Europe and other countries, that we can buy and sell with them using gold and silver coins. And so we'll bypass the banking system. That's going to cause anger to the Zionists. That's going to cause anger to those who want to establish one world government, one world currency, so they can control us, us control us all. This coming conference is therefore going to be a crucially important conference in which we have to think about and chalk out plans to try to universalize the use of gold and silver coins as legal tender for buying and for selling in order for us to extricate ourselves from the vicious grip of the Zionist controlled banking system around the world. Do please go to my website and get the information on the conference and register for the conference. If you come, I'll be there for both days of the conference. Shortly after the the conference takes place, I'm going to have to leave and travel. I'll be traveling for probably a whole year before, inshallah, I return to Malaysia. So this will be the last time for you to meet with me and to spend some time with me. Those of you who would like to do so, uh, to come to Malaysia uh, to attend the conference on the 26th and 27th of November. And I look forward <laughs> to meeting with you at that time. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.